Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let's see. I wanted to try and chat about combat in this game. And think about this a little bit here. Yeah, so here's what I did. What I decided to do, and I may have, uh, I'm just looking at the numbers here, and I may have, uh, may have conflated a part of the result, but it's okay. It, 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 the math works out the same, I believe. The way combat works, let's just look at the German numbers for the start, just to keep it simple, is we <clears throat> we take uh, the armor values of the units and the stackings to battalions, but he's lost a step so we can have this recon company in here. Um, we take the armor value, roll a die and roll a three. And we look at the armor modifier or the, the modifiers table for armor recon and engineering and AT guns and all that stuff. And we roll three, we go across the armor section and it says all three, you get 20% bonus. So I add these two numbers together, take 20% of that and add it to those two numbers. And that's now gonna be my armor factor. Uh, and I'm also gonna add 20% to this guy for the armor bonus. And then I'm gonna look at the recon value and it says, oh, you can add 20% to that as well. So uh, we'll add 20% to everybody there again. And we do the same for these guys. And what ends up happening is there are some other modifiers, the most significant one being regimental integrity, for which these guys indeed have that. Uh, and they get 1.5 uh, bump, right? And obviously air gives you a big bump as well. And air is also, CAS is also going to give you a multiplier. And that would be in this case on a three that we rolled would be another 10%. It'd be 10% of everything once it's all kind of bundled up and added together. So you end up with a big number, 99. I think this ended up being something around about that. And if I didn't do that, uh, all of those modifiers except for the regimental I would have 79.5. And if I did the same thing here, I would have either 21 or 18, and it's actually 21.6 or 18 uh, as the defense. And then there are some DRMs. You get, uh, they get to add one, uh, I believe they get to add one to their defensive role, which I'll show you in a second. And then these guys will subtract one from their attack role. I've actually got these around the wrong way. So uh, this is the German, the German die roll, and this is the uh, Soviet's die roll. So now we're going to look at, we will look at the combat results table, and we would do, create a ratio, right? And here the ratio, sorry, not here, uh, using the correct rules, the ratio is 4.58 to 1. Using just raw odds and, you know, the modest modifiers, it's 4.4 to one. So in the grand scheme of things, the same odds, but because the table, the combat tables are split up into halves for 4.5, 5, 5.5, etc. What that does is adds a, a, just another little layer of granularity. And you can see uh, here, where are we here? Where did I go? Here, uh, this two and two R, right? I rolled a seven, the Germans rolled a seven, and that's the result against the defender. Uh, they roll the seven, but they have to reduce it by one because of the hedgehog. And so on the 4.4, uh, because the result was greater than four, but less than, uh, more than 3.5, more than four, but less than 4.5, I'm gonna take, inflict two step losses, one of which can be taken as a retreat. In the in the first instance, and uh, but on the accurate or uh, rules followed rules as written, uh, it would be two R, which means they're going to have to take uh, two steps and a retreat. Uh, one stack has to retreat two hexes, which is pretty actually pretty significant for the Germans. Now there are a lot of results here, obviously that you know from one column to another, it's not going to make a lot of difference. So there's a significant amount of math and work that is going into uh, putting these numbers, pulling these numbers out. But there is some value in the granularity 
of the result that you get because it could have be could be a different result than if you just added up the numbers. Now I will confess that as you know, for instance, this unit becomes weakened and, and reduces, and he, may, he comes down to a six or a three. I'm probably not going to go through the rigmarole of adding all this up because if I can get to six to one or five to one, I'm going to be happy enough uh, with with that number. Uh, just it's not worth doing all the extra math to, to realize, oh, I got ten to one, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. So I thought that was interesting to share, and uh, we will continue playing. We're on turn eight right now. Uh, the Soviets are getting close to collapse. Well, we've got to get across this bridge yet. You know, uh, apparently you can do it in three turns. I don't know how, but we'll carry on. I thought this little sample of combat and a comparison against just a raw rods uh, calculation would be interesting. All the best.